that, please? You guys led for 35 minutes of the game, but when they tied it up late in the game, did you guys were you guys worried at all that you would lose? No. Um, no. You know, me and Kobe, uh, we're captains, so we've been in situations like that before. Um, when when instances happen like that, you just gotta never panic. You know, um, stay calm. Came out with the win. Kobe, you're coming off of an injury. You had your season high today. Did anything feel different, or did, if so, what did? Um, I mean, it's just getting back into the flow of things. Um, I missed one game, so kind of felt a little bit off, kind of. But uh, I'm just glad to be back. What did Brown do that made it so tough to put them away? Uh, they made shots, you know, uh, made tough shots. But uh, yeah, they made shots tonight. What did it feel like? <clears throat> Got the ball with a second left and, and heaved it up. Is there a thought process or did you just throw it up? Uh, I honestly thought it was all net, but when it rolled in, I was like, okay. <laughs> it felt good. So, Boogie, how are you seeing, uh, you know, having the relationship with Isaiah that, that, that you've had? You know, Andy's talked about at times needing to slow the game down a little bit yeah. for him, more efficient tonight. How have you seen just his growth across these first four games? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just, you know, Isaiah, he. He plays, he's an amazing player, plays great for us. And, um, you know, he's going to learn game by game. I mean, I feel like our guards, we, we definitely have to cut down on the turnovers because uh, when we play um, other teams, the, some of this stuff's not going to work. But um, definitely he's learning game by game. Um, he watches film, he, he knows his mistakes. So, um, you know, he's just going to get better every game. Kobe, it looked like for you, you know, obviously coming off injury yourself, kind of got going early by, by getting in the post a little bit, you know, exploiting some mismatches there. I mean, how did you feel about that return, kind of where you fit in offensively right now? No, definitely. Um, coming into the game, I just wanted to provide anything I could uh, for my teammates. Um, I just wanted to come in, do what I needed to do to win. Um, I knew uh, I wasn't shooting the ball well, but uh, I mean, I got confidence enough uh, just for my teammates. Um, coming into the game just to keep shooting, you know, just stay locked in. So, uh, yeah, just I, I was ready to come play, and, uh, and uh, I feel good now. Bit of some, some first half trouble from the big guys finishing at, at the rim. You know, you, you saw Vince kind of miss a couple, come back during a timeout, looked like he was upset with himself. Looks like both of you guys kind of gave him some words a little bit. What, what was that conversation like? How do you kind of pick up a guy like uh, that? You know, uh, just telling him to trust, trust his work, you know. Steph Curry's the best shooter in, uh, in the in the world. He goes over ten some nights. He, he shoots 40 percent. You're gonna miss shots. You can't make every shot. So I mean, just just let him know that you know basketball is a game of mistakes. It's how it, you're gonna, you're gonna make more mistakes than you're gonna be successful. So you just gotta have confidence through that, and um, we we just try to install confidence in him because he's a great player. You know, definitely he's gonna be used for us too this year, and uh, he was just upset upset at himself uh, for missing those easy bunnies. Uh, I mean, he got the shots he wanted. They just didn't fall tonight for him. And I know me and Boogie were just trying, like he said, keep that confidence in him because we know how good of a player he is. We know how good of a player he can be. So if we can maximize maximize his potential for this year, uh, I think he'll be very, very beneficial for us. Um, given what Bronny went through this summer, just having Malcolm forward, you guys um, warming up before the game, um, what's that like for you guys? It's awesome. Um, just having him back. Um, or just kind of around the team with us and participating with us. Um, it's awesome. Um, but we, you know, we want him back as soon as possible. Um, but we want him to be as healthy as possible when he comes back. So every day we're just praying uh, that he keeps getting better. And uh, hopefully sometime this year uh, he's able to get out on the floor with us. Boogie, it seems like you're really kind of, uh, you know, when you finish through contact this year in particular, it seems like you really kind of relish that at times. So obviously your finishing has kind of come a long way from, from where it started this program how do you just feel like you've developed you know with that strength with kind of that body control and just I mean Kobe shaking your head seems like it's come a long way excuse my language he's he's that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> man just, just being out there on the floor with Boogie and just seeing some of the shots he makes and just some of the plays he be making it's, it's incredible um and just seeing this growth from when I first got here to now is Boogie's a hell of a player I mean I can't say anything less about him so I mean, he does what he needs to do on a daily basis for us, and he get he he gives us a lot of wins. He gives us a whole lot of energy, and he's a huge boost boost for his team. So.
having him back on the floor for us, um, just him in particular uh, is huge for us because, again, he's a playmaker. He can get everybody involved. So, I mean, he keep, if we can keep him hot the entire year, uh, he going to lead us very far uh, in March. I'll point, I'll point that at, at you, but you just, again, you know, you're, you're kind of seeing that growth for yourself and, and taking pride in that, you know, how you have gotten stronger and just you're finishing around the rim. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, you know, uh, all my uh, all my year in college, you know, I try to get better at something every year. Um, this year, I felt like I didn't finish well last year. So, you know, I spent a lot of time this summer um, working on my finishing and then, you know, stealing some, some stuff from Zay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you guys are both coming off of injury. How are you guys feeling physically? Are you close to or near hundred percent? Good. I mean, I'm good enough to play. So I mean, <laughs> if I'm good enough to play, I'm gonna be be out there on the floor with my uh, with my family. So that's all. That's all that means for me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, same with me. Coach, based on not having the numbers for practices, how is that as a player not being able to scrimmage? Um, I think uh, uh, just not being able to participate in practice and then, uh, uh, let's say, for instance, just not being able to participate in the game, it's kind of hard because there's nothing you can really do to, like, help the team out. Or I mean, all you can do is just really be a vocal leader. So, I mean, if we just if we're able to just communicate with each other and just, you know, keep everybody's confidence up, I feel like, um, you know, we'll be fine. I think the people that are out and sitting out, I think they got to do a very good job of, you know, keeping that morale on the bench very high because, I think if we have great energy on the bench, it translates to the court. Boogie, you, you last question. You mentioned, uh, you know, taking things from, from Isaiah. You, you said before the year that you know you're able to work on shooting with him a little bit. When you when you talk about finishing, is there anything specific that you kind of you know you watched him do this summer? Kind of you know any the angles or, or things like that that you kind of picked up out of your game? I mean, definitely he gets to the he gets downhill fast. Um, so just. He's a, he's a fast player. Just knowing that, you know, um, using my ability to shoot, guys are going to run me off the line. So, you know, just being able to get downhill first and then um, finish first and then work my way out. Um, I feel like um, that's going to be uh, what I'm going to do this year, work on my finish and work my way out. Because if I'm not making shots, I still got to be able to, uh, you know, help this team out. <laughs>